everyone, this is Daniel Scranton, and I'm going to channel the Arcturian Council. Tempted to tell you everything that we think is going to occur in your next calendar year. However, we understand how much you all put your faith in us. And we would never want to limit you in any way. We want you to create the reality you want to experience, not the one that we told you was going to happen. It's that part of ourselves that wants to be the hero of your story. That would like to give away all of the probabilities that we see. However, we have a non-interference policy, and we do feel that giving you every single prediction as we read 
the energies right now would be interfered. What we can do and will do is to continue to empower you to create the version of the new year that you want to experience. Here are some facts that you can utilize to bolster your confidence in your ability to experience life on earth the way you want to experience it. You have just received a wave of energy from source and that came on the heels of the solstice energies. Right now you are in a moment when the Christ consciousness is more prevalent on your world than at any other time. And you have also been doing so much work on yourselves over the past seven years that you are in fact much more masterful creators than you ever have been before. What happened seven years ago you might wonder. You shifted to the fourth dimension. And in this fourth dimensional frequency range that you are in, you have less limitation, more freedom, and you have access to fifth dimensional energies. There is absolutely no reason why you should believe in any sort of limitation about yourselves in this moment. What we see, those of you who are awake needing more than anything else, is patience. and a willingness to relax and let in all of those creations that you have summoned through this universe. You are powerful now and more powerful than you have ever been in physical bodies on planet Earth. Part of the reason for that is the number of lifetimes that you've led prior to this one and the number of people on the planet right now. Because of those two factors alone, you have access to a tremendous amount of energy and a tremendous amount of momentum 
and we encourage you to make 2020 the year that you tap into both. We also encourage you to create a world for everyone to thrive in. Because when you are seeking to create that world, you are not only gathering the energy of everyone else who wants to live in that world, but you are also aligning yourselves with higher frequency beings like us. who are working on behalf of all humans. Celebrate the new year by celebrating how much power energy and momentum you have at your disposal and make this upcoming year the best one that humanity has ever seen. We are Yorktrin Council And we have enjoyed connecting with you all. <laughs> okay. I figured it would be about. Christmas or 2020 or something, but um, yeah, that was that was sort of a call to uh, embracing the power that we have, which uh, is really nice to hear. <laughs> um, speaking of really nice to hear, I uh, made Talia laugh few times tonight and it was the best just being silly just being as silly as I could possibly be and then seeing her laugh oh it's the best best sound best visual I love it so much um, oh 50% off sale is starting now till the end of the year um, so that's happening. Discount code is love. You enter it at checkout. My calendar is actually not as full as it has been. I think the three-month waiting period has scared people off. So um, I think you still probably have to wait till March. <laughs> you might find something for uh, 20 minutes somewhere in there. Actually, somebody rescheduled an appointment that was in January. Um, to April, so today. So there might be an hour slot in January. Um, I've got, in January, I've got the, this uh, Accessing Your Spiritual Gifts, Accessing and Developing Your Spiritual Gifts. That course is starting in uh, a few weeks, January 13th. And then I'm going to do, I think, an advanced group channeling class in January too. So hitting the first month uh, hard. <laughs> um, it's Christmas Eve here in the De Los Grand House and uh, the women are asleep. <laughs> I'm up. Cats are, who knows, in and out of sleep probably. Um, I've, I was raised Catholic and so was my wife. Um, we still celebrate Christmas. 
because it's one of the happier aspects of being raised Christian. <laughs> and lots of good memories. And uh, I was telling my wife, I, I don't want to tell Talia that Santa exists because we're going to be telling her that fairies and unicorns and angels and aliens and all these things that other people don't believe in exist. And so we don't want to then say, oh, yeah, well, that one was that one wasn't real <laughs> at some point because that might confuse the poor child. <laughs> so I don't know. We have to think about that for a year, maybe. <laughs> but um, I. Uh, I do, I am excited to celebrate with the family tomorrow and have a day off. I took two days in a row to not go to the forest or the road where we hike because I needed to get caught up. I had so many people asking for things uh, from me that they had paid for. So I had to do, I, I sometimes wait till I get a cancellation and then I'm like, oh, time, I can do this, this work that is in my inbox and has been sitting here, but it just hasn't happened since we got back. So I'm, I'm really excited to go to the forest tomorrow because I've been like a, a busy little elf over here working and working and working. Um, so that's my story. It's actually really warm here tonight and has been this afternoon and this evening, I've got the window open, which during the, you know, the warmer months, oh, here comes Kalyantra, is a guarantee that this window right here is open, but it's been closed a lot lately. Kalyantra, are you coming over? <laughs> oh, I'm closing in on 12,000 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed for some unknown reason to this channel, please click subscribe. I want to hit that 12,000 mark uh, before I go to bed tonight, <laughs> which will be late. I'm watching Lost in Space now on Netflix, season two. Great show, great sci-fi. Um, Mandalorian only has one, one episode left, which is super sad. But they did make an Obi-Wan Kenobi series for Disney+. Plus. And I don't know when that's coming, but I do know it's coming because Ewan McGregor has talked about it. All right, everyone. If you celebrate Christmas, I hope that it's uh, merry and you're filled with joy and around all the people you love. And if you don't, whatever you celebrate, um, Hanukkah, any holiday, Festivus, <laughs> whatever it is, I hope you're enjoying it, and um, I think Hanukkah might be over. I could be wrong about that, but here it comes. Here she comes. Oh, you're finding a way, huh? There's all this stuff on the table. It's hard to get up on. Up. Oh, no, she wants to stare out the window. Okay, everyone. Blessings to you and yours, and uh, I hope the Christ consciousness comes and visits you and not those Dickensian ghosts from A Christmas Carol. Blessings and peace and love and uh, Happy New Year soon. And I'll see you tomorrow night. Bye. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment on this video.